Yo, what's up guys? So I'm going to be turning Peter Bread's Cactus Cannon into a Mediterranean holiday home. So let's get right into this. So the house is going to cost me a whopping 260k. And here it is. I'm going to replace my existing plot because I don't want to be wasting any Robux. And now that inflation has hit Bloxburg, we have to be super, super careful. And here it is in its full glory. It's actually not bad. I do actually like the layout. I can't lie. And for me, it's really giving Mediterranean. I can just imagine it. All I've got to do is change up the colours, maybe add a pool at the back, change up the landscape, and hopefully we'll be left with a beautiful Mediterranean holiday home. The only thing that does worry me though is that the interior is pretty big. Like there is a lot of floor space. But I'm going to try and decorate as much of this build as possible. I'm probably definitely going to leave out the basement. Um, but anyway, let's see how we get on. So first things first, let me just show you what my inspiration is now look at this it's giving mediterranean it's cool it's simple i just absolutely love this and it's kind of rustic but modern at the same time if that makes sense i just love the arches throughout this house it gives it a sense of space it's airy and it's almost like bringing the outside inside your home right so the next thing i've got to do is change up the colors so i'm going for that orangey terracotta kind of look basically it's like the typical mediterranean color so i'm going to go for this orange i'm not really feeling it to be honest but i don't have much of an option with regards to the colors and i feel as though this color wheel thingy doesn't really help much right so what does a mediterranean roof look like i have no idea but i'm going to go with a brown probably wood effect and over here i'm going to extend the roof to make it kind of like a porch walkway a lot of people love to sit outside day and night because it's super hot so i'm gonna add a little seating area somewhere in here and then of course i have to get in those traditional terracotta tiles in so i'm gonna put my hanging seat here imagine just chilling here in those hot summer nights that would be so nice and i'm just gonna change out this fence i just feel it doesn't match with the house i feel as though this one is more kind of leaning towards a mediterranean look and I really do not like these palm trees so I'm going to go in and swap them I don't know why I think these look so much cuter and probably more realistic and over by the front entrance I'm going to place a load of pots and jars and all types of crockery again that's to give it that realistic mediterranean feel with a bit of clutter and now i'm just going to go plant crazy i need loads and loads and loads of plants and now we're bringing this house out of the dead desert into the mediterranean where everything is alive and blooming okay maybe i've gone a bit overboard so i'm just going to try to balance it out now it will be an absolute crime to refurbish this build without using any of these new items so i'm going with this door and i absolutely love it it fits so well with this build actually with all the negativity that blocksburg has been getting one thing i can say is the new items are absolute bomb i absolutely love them it's just a shame that they're a bit on the pricey side but well done blocksburg you almost got it right so i definitely want to get one of these new windows in somewhere and wow look at the transformation so over here whilst i was waffling on i made a sneaky little gap because i actually forgot there is a double garage in this build that so we now have this additional building which will probably be an outhouse or something like that now every mediterranean house needs a pool and that is exactly what i'm going to do here just a simple smallish pool it doesn't have to be luxurious all i know is that we need one with this build and we have this outdoor eating area here which i'm going to keep and instead i'm going to decorate it so it looks a bit more prettier it's looking kind of dead and i need it to come alive and this is what it's looking like now it's looking so much nicer oh my god it's definitely now giving encanto now over on the other side of the backyard i'm gonna make like a little orchid so we're gonna have some orange lemon trees um what else do we associate with the mediterranean probably not pears so i'm gonna get rid of that and i don't know probably berry trees and maybe a few watermelons here and there and there's a little area down the side of the build so i'm just gonna put a hammock here and then i can swiftly move onto the interior and i'm not gonna lie it is absolutely massive but it looks like we have a conservatory room here which i'm going to try to change into this so i want to open all of this up and put in arches the more of the outside we can bring 
inside the better and I'm going to put a load of crockery in these arches because this build definitely needs a bit of clutter and I know I've been using these old ugly ceiling lights but I really think they fit in really well with this build right so I'm going to recolor the floor first so we're going for that terracotta kind of color and oh my god I've just used the stained texture and look how good it is looking like seriously just hear me out look at this texture and then look at my inspiration picture now how are you not telling me that they actually look kind of similar oh my god I honestly cannot believe that oh my god I'm actually lost for words I'm actually going to roll this texture for the rest of the build now because this room is massive I thought I'd put a few yoga mats in so maybe we can use this as you know a chilling stroke yoga room and the yoga thing probably works because it is now an open airy type of room and to put it all together I'm just going to add a load of cushions and now let's move on to the kitchen so I'm loving all of this stone with a stone counter as well as a stone hood above the oven so of course first I'm going to switch up the colours to that neutral palette and weirdly enough I'm proud to say that everything is going to be that dirt stained texture. Now I don't like how the countertops are all cluttered and everything is just everywhere so I'm going to tidy that all up. So I've just got a simple shelf here just above the oven and oh my god this is the first custom thing I'm actually making which are just a few chopping boards and I'm actually super proud of myself because I used to be a builder where everything had to be custom so I'm now now really getting used to using things that are already in the game and of course the main thing is is that it's a lot cheaper i'm running these shelves along here as well and i'm actually going to move the sink over on that side i just hate where it is at the moment but i'm going to use one of these big old commercial sinks and just build around it and there we have it what an improvement now this round dining table is a no-no we have to change that up for a much bigger one and when i think about mediterranean families i associate them with food like lots of good tasting fresh food and you're always going to have that one grandma who is constantly feeding the grandkids like they are so passionate about their food i love it so that's why we need to get a big old table in here right now i'm going to attempt to refurbish the bedroom into this so here it is at the moment and sorry i did not like it at all so let me mediterranean it up so in go the arches and i'm going to have two more on either side so basically this wall where the bed is is going to be a kind of focal point it has to make a statement so i'm going to go in with this structural arch because i feel as though it's missing something and there we go if i just bring it down a little bit and sorry but how much better does that look now i'm not liking those windows so i'm going to replace them with some double doors and now we're going to get all botanical and add loads of plants i'm not sure how i feel about this setup here but um i'm just going to change up a few things i don't know but that tv stand thing is as ugly as hell gotta move on and into the bathroom we go uh, oh my days look at this look at that bath so that is an absolute must have i have to have it so i'm just going to open up the basement place a basic shape and then my bath on top delete the basement and there we go now i want everything built in but i want to put like a false wall so i'm probably gonna have to move the bathtub just a little but just look at how it's looking now i'm just loving how everything is built in and i can't lie why am i loving this dirt stain wall texture like i literally cannot get enough of it so much so i think i'm actually gonna faint and go to that imaginary hospital and if you already haven't noticed i'm actually putting custom rugs into every room so into this rather large living area which i want to turn into this obviously it's not going to be exactly the same but i'm gonna give it my best shot so again i love that open airy feel so on this wall here i'm gonna put in a few windows and i'm just gonna rearrange this sofa and it'll have how gross someone's left their smelly socks underneath so i've rearranged the sofa and now i want to make a custom coffee table real simple just a few basic shapes change the texture and we're done i absolutely hated all this extra floor space here so what i've done is made the bathroom a little bit bigger i would have actually rearranged the layout a little bit more but that's just going to take way too long so i like the idea of having a console table at the back of the sofa i'm just changing the style and over here i'm going to place this cute hanging 
chair not gonna lie it's real hard to fill spaces in large rooms which is why i usually like my rooms to be a max of five by five so it's kind of a similar theme to the other room that i did so we're gonna add a load of ottomans plus cushion and sorry i just hate this whole ugly tv setup here it's all gotta go and instead i'm putting in this fireplace and a few shelves over here this is looking so much better i feel like the other setup was just so random and those bookshelves are hideous they've definitely got to go as well so instead i'm going to go with these cabinets and then we have another awkward space here um, which i suppose has to be another seating area okay this setup is looking a lot better so there's just a few bits to do now i'm not going to do all of the rooms i can't lie this is getting so long but anyway i'm finishing off and i'm going to be back for that tour and here it is guys here's peter bread's cactus cannon which i've turned it into a mediterranean holiday home i so the main thing i've done here is change up the color add a few pillars change up the landscaping some fences and added this kind of porch walkway which means i can now have this super cute little seating area just here now over on this side i added a garage i know i am so silly i actually forgot that this build already has a double garage so now i have an additional little building which can be what you want it to be i mean i can't lie it is kind of stupid of me how can i forget that this big old double garage was here all the time as you can see i also added a load of more plants it's kind of giving encanto i can't lie and a load of clutter by the entrance and how can i forget about this door i love 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 this new door and these new items were the best things that blocksburg added and now into the house we go and here is our little hallway it's real simple and the most i already did here was change the texture of the wall and can you believe it i used a dirt stain texture for these walls but i'm sorry like look how good it looks so i kept most of the furniture in this living room just changed up the style of the sofa added a custom table plenty of cushions and most importantly i got rid of that most ugly tv unit thing that was going on here and instead replaced it with a fireplace and these custom inbuilt shelves got a little seating thing going on here and another little seating thing right over here and unfortunately i didn't touch any of these rooms to be honest the floor space was way too big and it was kind of hard to fill in those empty spaces so this room previously was a kind of conservatory so i and instead i changed it into a cozy living stroke yoga room okay this room was way too big but i think i did all right and now into the bedroom and wow i'm sorry this looks so much better i'm loving this wall feature with the arches and i seriously cannot get enough of this dirt stained texture i hated the windows on this wall here so i replaced it with a double door and it just amazes me how small swaps make such a difference now over on this side i kept everything more or less the same just added and took away a few bits i'm not really liking this whole tv system thing but i didn't get a chance to change it and now into the bathroom it's a small room but i don't know about you this is my absolute favorite i mean just look at this sunken bath i've just got to try this out and wow it's small it's simple but it's definitely unique and now over to the kitchen now, the kitchen is more or less the same i just basically changed up the colors moved a few things around tidied it up a little and i don't know i just really like it i love in the stoneware i love where i've moved the new sink and we now have this massive family friendly table where you can enjoy all of those yummy mediterranean dishes finally into the backyard and i've kept most of the items again just changed up the colors i made the eating area a bit more prettier and of course a holiday home will not be a holiday home without a pool and over in the corner there we have a mini orchid with all the fruits that you expect to see in a mediterranean country and just down the side here there is another little cozy little hideaway where you can relax and get some peace anyway guys that's it for now if you like this transformation please give it a like comment below what build you would like me to transform next oh and just before i go if you're curious this build is 
and now standing at 370 odd k and thanks for watching guys and hopefully i'll see you in the next one see ya